Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm gonna do something very interesting with the all new OnePlus Nord 2. If you go into OnePlus's website and the Nord 2 page, click on this option, you will find a benchmark. It suggests that uh, the OnePlus Nord 2 even outperforms devices like the Galaxy S21 Plus or even devices running on Snapdragon 888. So how is it even possible for a device with nearly half the price tag? For example, the OnePlus 9 Pro is running on Snapdragon 888, so can it really beat the 9 Pro? Well, the thing is, this uh, ETH Zurich testing is basically not a gaming benchmark. It basically measures the AI benchmark. So uh, if you Google about it, you can get a clearer idea. And what AI does? Well, there are certain features like in the camera, you get face recognition, scene enhancement, and also other factors that maybe a professional photographer can fine tune, which normal people won't understand stand so on their website they have this ranking and nord 2 is number four which is pretty good i will say considering other devices here are quite costly and uh, the chipset on the nord 2 is basically ai enhanced mediatek dimensity 1200 ai which definitely is not as powerful as a flagship chipset but it's smarter or more clever let me give you an analogy let's say there is a bodybuilder who can lift maybe be 300 kgs but uh, another guy who is less powerful but he uses a lever to lift maybe 250 kgs so may not be as much as a professional or a flagship in this case but you get a much refined fine-tuned or ready to use photos in the camera section and also the phone learns from your uses and with deep learning the phone feels much more you can say friendly or intuitive and uh, gives you a true smart experience there is this pdf that explains ai benchmark so it states that nowadays phones are too powerful for everyday normal uses you don't really need this many cores or this much power or ram but in case of artificial intelligence algorithms uh, it still remains challenging for even high-end smartphones and tablets and in near future of course more and more chipset will come with ai power to give you the ultimate smartphone experience that learns from the user i will make a separate video on how ai works on this nord 2 here is the end of the benchmark score comparison of the nord 1 and 2 nord 2 is considerably much faster and more capable let me show you the processor and memory status i also ran 3d mark gamers benchmark and interestingly the mediatek dimensity 1200 ai did pretty well considering the price tag is less than half of the 9 pro so definitely it's also capable in terms of speed in terms of performance today's speed test focuses on the speed of the devices not the ai factor which i will talk about in my next video as i mentioned before so check the description for the link so let's get started with the speed test swiping or touch response of both devices are almost equally good they are instantaneous the first thing i will do is a boot test so let's restart the devices and uh, I have also cleared any running application that is in the background and uh, the displays are at max level that is 120 hertz with quad hd plus resolution on the oneplus 9 pro and 90 hertz full hd plus resolution on the nord 2 the 9 pro seems a little bit faster in terms of boot so let's speed up the video and there you go the flagship of oneplus wins Let's also quickly test the on-screen fingerprint sensors if there is any delay on the Nord 2 and definitely not both smartphones here responds almost at the same time. Let me try again with the displays on and once again they are neck and neck. Now here comes the fun part, I have prepared a lot of third party apps and some real hardcore games to push the capabilities of the Nord 2 to the maximum. So let's start with the system dialer app and uh, it looks like the Nord 2 was momentarily quicker. Next we have the messaging app and this time they are simultaneous I will say. 
there is the camera app here and uh, once again Nord 2 was actually considerably faster than the 9 Pro. Let's try this once again and uh, definitely Nord 2 is the winner. Next let's check the gallery and uh, maybe this time it's not a fair comparison because there are too many photos on my OnePlus 9 Pro but still the Nord 2 is too good too fast so the score goes to the new oneplus mid-range let's quickly check the settings app and uh, this time the oneplus 9 pro is much faster next how about youtube which is definitely network dependent and uh, let's see okay oneplus 9 pro is once again much much faster the nord 2 is taking up some time next application i want to try is the play store once again oneplus 9 pro is doing much better here are some social apps i want to try next there is the facebook and uh, both devices are taking some time to load mainly because i restarted the devices and next is the instagram and once again oneplus 9 pro is uh, doing much better in terms of network speed and response some shopping apps here this is the flipkart app i think it's a draw uh, next is the amazon application and let's see what happens uh, once again both are taking some time so there might be some issue with the amazon application itself so let's wait and it seems like oneplus 9 pro is still stuck and there you go what about the benchmark application and uh, I think they were very very close though 9 pro was momentarily quicker next we have some photoshop applications i will start with the photoshop express and uh, once again it was a draw i think next is photoshop lightroom and once again 9 pro is the winner we also have the adobe photoshop camera and once again the flagship of oneplus is the faster device so far the oneplus 9 pro is doing much better in terms of uh, network apps and also in the photoshop apps but in the system apps the oneplus nord 2 did really really well and the nord 2 with almost half the price tag it feels as premium as the 9 pro it's very very well built and if you don't mind the few milliseconds of delay then nord 2 is more than enough it's fast enough you won't complain and the user interface is almost equally smooth now here comes the games i will start with low graphics games like the subway surfers and uh, 9 pro outshines the nord 2 by a few milliseconds but the loading time of nord 2 is actually less than that of the costlier 9 pro so that's quite interesting next i want to try temple run 2 and uh, this time 9 pro is the winner next let's try some real hardcore games this is the battlegrounds india formerly known as pubg and let's see what happens if there is any significant difference or not looks like 9 pro is already started loading and it's ready whereas the nord 2 is loading there you go it's also almost ready well there is another loading skin let me try asphalt extreme What's most interesting here is the Nord 2 loading before the mighty OnePlus 9 Pro. So that's a great news for the Nord 2 buyers. It's capable enough in some games. It's even beating the 9 Pro which is still stuck on the loading screen. There you go. Sometimes it also depends on the network connection like uh, loading the profile of the game. So next i want to also try this game called asphalt 9 well another miracle from nord 2 it's ready it has loaded the game successfully whereas the oneplus 9 pro is still struggling ultimately it's ready now in-game experience of both nord 2 and oneplus 9 pro are very very similar the nord 2 doesn't feel underpowered the graphics is smooth enough and the response is great 
After playing a game on the 9 Pro, if you immediately switch to the Nord 2, then sometimes you might feel there is slight drop in frame rate in certain scenarios for a fraction of a second. But overall, Nord 2 can offer at least 80% performance of a flagship in most of the mid-range and some of the high-end games. The next game here is PS 2021 and both devices handles it pretty well. It's just OnePlus 9 Pro's graphics is slightly sharper with a better smoothness thanks to the Quad HD Plus resolution display and 120Hz refresh rate. But once again, if you're not a flagship user, you have not played the game on a flagship at full resolution, then you will not be complaining on the Nord 2. We have the last game here, Call of Duty, a very very graphics intensive game and let's see what happens. We are almost at the end of this video and overall I am totally satisfied with the Nord 2 considering the price tag. It's definitely worth purchasing except for some social apps where Nord 2 took some time to load the feed from online. Uh, overall Nord 2 performed really well in this speed test and I am quite interested to see what the AI chipset has to offer, how it can mask the deficiency in power or the slightly inferior camera compared to a flagship and render the best quality or performance to the end user. That's all in this very interesting video. I hope that it was useful. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.